Okay, we're gonna uh, add some uh, some trim around the back window so we saw that uh, edge point come up two inches, draw a line across, go come over two inches and draw that line up. I already completed uh, a lot of my steps on this, so I just want to show you how to do it. Two inches, come down. This is how you're going to complete all your window areas on this inside thing. I decided to do it like this so it can have the same texture and have some trim as well. So. That's a two inch trim on the inside of the windows that we're going to add to that. And then we're going to paint our trim and paint the inside as well on the trim. And now we're going to add a window, I mean a picture in the bathroom. Show you how to add a picture. Okay, start in the mid, uh, midpoint and draw. I'm going to draw 10 inches down. You can draw any inches and come over um, 10 inches and come down 1 10 inches. So that's um, 10 inches on both sides of the line and one ten one feet ten inches down to draw your box. To keep from uh the box clinging to the the back texture we just did like this. So we draw our box, we're gonna draw a line out uh one fourth uh inch on each corner and then make our box for our picture. One for and we make a box from here to the up upper part. And then we're gonna uh, delete our lines in the back. So they won't show up on the outside trim. Okay, gonna zoom in and draw. Start at the midsection. Draw a one inch line down and one inch line across. One inch line up and one inch line across. Then we're going to draw a two inch line on the inside and draw it across two inch line, two inch line, two inch line, two inch line, and then we're going to delete our extra lines on the inside. Okay, now we're going to paint our trim, burgundy color, and then we're going to paint the inside of this for a white area. Okay, now I'm going to insert my, input my picture as a texture. And voila. Keep saying your work. Okay, now we're going to add a, a knot. And this for the uh, add furniture. But that's not the one that I wanted to use. Let's see. Okay, this is how you're going to add your knots. Just paste them in place wherever you want them at. And that's 
this is as simple as that. I have mods already in there. Well, in my uh, dolly for my camera and my uh, pictures on the wall. So I'm gonna keep going. And pictures down here too. Okay. And my knives on my ground. And my standing poses and stuff. I put them in before I pan. And uh, my textures is added. So I'm ready to go, back, go add it to the seam. Okay. I had to reduce my... Um, Uh, bites and so I uh, had a trim around the uh, the changes that I did is I had two, a two inch trim around uh, inside back window textures for my small models were added when I, and um, poses deleted unneeded textures uh, I had to delete one tree by the pool um, Combine all the textures with the same colors. Then is the changes that I've made. Now I'm going to unhide and save my work and export. Okay, whenever you add floor knives, you have and uh, knives and everything, you have to renumber your furniture and uh, renumber your pose groups and save your work to get the, the uh, export countdown. And then uh, export again. Sometimes you have to purge your uh, model. Just go in there and purge the unused stuff and save your work. So now we're going to go into the. Okay, now we're going to click on create. And derive from 512 room. It's okay. And make sure you save it when you start it. Then you add the Excel file. your asset file uh, XF XSF XF XF SF file and your model and save your I mean apply changes and make sure you save as needed. Okay then you just start adding your textures. Find out where your, uh, your texture list is in your uh, the folder that you export the stuff in. You go into report, and you can tell right here where all the textures that you need to add. I got 66 to add, so I just go like this and 
add them, add them in there as I go. So that's my concrete. And that's my living room floor. Make sure. Yeah, living room floor. Then we're going to add, uh, let's see, we're going to add one that needs a map, I'll show you how to do it, it did, it's pretty much easy though, you just add your texture, and you add your map over here, and that's really it. Okay, we're going to add our water texture. And I usually make animation with mine and the map. And click on on scroll and put 10 right here. And probably 2 minus direction is the minus 80 probably. It don't matter too much. to get it to scroll where I need to. Okay. And don't forget to click blend to make it blend. And you see it's, it's uh, animating one direction. The reason why I need that is for the upstairs shower. Like that. And then say it works. And you add your bath, uh, your picture texture uh, the same way you do the rest of it. Uh, the picture. Okay, now I then add all my textures and all the way down, all 66. Now I'm going to check it out. I already checked to see if all the poses work and everything. That's what it looks like. So. Making sure everything's pretty much good. Look like my swing's not showing up. Pretty much ready for the next now. Give it some unique name and add your little 